Hey, Harmony. There's something I want to ask you. Have you already thanked my mom for the other day? No, not yet. Why the hell haven't you? You had the audacity to sit at the table in my mother's restaurant while she slaved away cooking and you couldn't even be bothered to show some basic gratitude? Unbelievable. Guess I see how it is then. And what exactly are you getting at? Wow, your attitude is just terrible. No wonder my mom can't stand being around you. It's about time you started caring about my mom's feelings for once. She's my mother, which means you better start showing her some freaking respect. Alright, I get it. But why didn't you bother saying a word about it? Say anything about what? Well, the other day the whole family decided to have a good laugh at my expense during dinner. I was so mortified and had this awful feeling in my gut. And you know what's even worse? I didn't even get to eat anything. Your mom prepared a feast for everyone except me. I just sat there, watching you all chow down. I kinda hoped you would step in. You know, being my hubby and all. But you ended up joining in on the laughter too. Honestly, what was that all about? Ugh, seriously? What the heck are you blabbering about? I have zero recollection of that ever happening. Are you just pulling some bogus story straight out of thin air? Wait, hold up. How on earth can you not remember? You've got to be kidding me. I mean, you were literally laughing along with them. Your mom is always cracking jokes about me and having a good old laugh about it. She never misses a chance to make up some snide comment about my looks or throw shade at how my family brought me up. It's just downright embarrassing and makes me feel so uncomfortable. I don't think it's fair for families to treat each other like that, you know? Well... I've known for a long time that my family is not very fond of you. But hey, we can't do anything about it, right? What do you mean? Oh, here we go again with your naive little comments. Listen up, genius. The reason they treat you like garbage is because they're my precious family. And that's just how it goes when you're an outsider trying to fit into my exclusive little club. I don't understand what you are saying. Oh, let me dumb it down for you since you clearly struggle with comprehending basic concepts. You, my dear, are nothing but an outsider in my family's kingdom. And it's only natural for us superior beings to mock and belittle those who dare to be different. I mean, even everyone else agrees that watching you squirm in embarrassment is downright hilarious. And guess what? My dear old mom finds immense joy and entertainment in it too. So, yeah, don't expect any sympathy from me when they unleash their laughter and mockery upon you. It's just the way things are, and you better get used to it, loser. But we made vows and committed to spending our lives together as a married couple. Doesn't that mean I'm now a part of your family? Why treat me as if I'm an outsider? Look, let me make something crystal clear. You are not part of my family. I don't care if we're married. Blood is what matters here. Even my own mom agrees that you're not a real family. Face it, you come from a completely different background. And the fact that you have the audacity to think you belong in my family is a serious problem. I want to have a heartfelt conversation about something that's been bothering me. I understand that we come from different families. But isn't that how it's supposed to work when you get married? We become each other's family. My relatives become your family too. It really saddens me that both you and your mom seem to share this perspective about me being an outsider. It hurts me even more when you let your mom belittle me and when your relatives join in making fun of me. In situations like these, shouldn't you be the one standing up for me and defending me? Wow, it's amazing how you just don't seem to grasp anything, do you? Obviously, my family makes fun of you. I mean, come on, you're different from them and from me. That's not a good reason to make fun of someone. Oh, please. Are you seriously going to use this as an excuse to undermine all the hard work my mom has put in? Is that what you're aiming for? To make her efforts seem worthless? What are you talking about? Of course I appreciate your mom's hard work. It's not easy running a business. But that's not what we're talking about right now. I just don't know how to respond to what you're saying to me right now. But all you do is ignore her and give her attitude. You do realize that everything that happened is your fault. I don't think it's my fault that your family makes fun of me. Oh, I can't even believe how dense you are. 
it's no surprise you can't comprehend what I'm saying. My mom always knows what's right and what's best unlike you. So naturally, I agree with her that you're simply not up to par. If you ever end up without a family one day, it'll be completely your own fault. Don't come crying to me then. I'm feeling really hurt and confused right now. Why do you always treat me so meanly? Are you implying that our marriage holds no value to you? The things you're saying to me right now are incredibly hurtful. And it's difficult for me to understand why you would say such horrible things. Oh, I'm sure you still haven't bothered to thank my mom for dinner. You're just so screwed up. It's no rocket science, you know. It'd take less than a second to type a simple thank you and hit send. What's wrong with you? Are you incapable of basic manners or are you just intentionally being an ungrateful jerk? It's because I'm messaging you right now. So I haven't had the chance yet. But please remember, I've always thanked her in the past. However, during the most recent gathering, I felt extremely embarrassed and hurt by her ruthless and personal jokes. It caught me off guard, which is why I didn't express my gratitude. Despite that, I want you to know that I did pay for everyone's food, even though I didn't get to eat. It doesn't matter. You are in my mom's restaurant. You need to treat her with respect. If you can't do that much, then you are a horrible wife. Do you understand that? Shouldn't you be on my side in this situation? What? I just paid your mom to cook for everyone in the family except me and then sat there while everyone made fun of me. We're married and we love each other, right? So shouldn't you have my back when your family says hurtful things to me? It makes me question if our marriage really means anything to you. Listen up. My mom, she's a freaking boss. She's been holding it down for the whole family with her restaurant business. And we all bow down to her greatness. Obviously, I'm gonna prioritize my mom over you. Even if it means stomping on your fragile little feelings. But let's face it, you're just green with envy, aren't you? That's so you. What? Do you seriously think I'm jealous of your mom? Me? Ugh. Just forget it. Anyway, I'll message your mom telling her thank you. I'm done arguing. Thank you so much for the other day. You do a lot for me and I really appreciate it. Took you long enough to hit me up, didn't it? Were you too busy basking in your own self-importance? Or maybe you just couldn't be bothered to spare a single second for me. Either way, I hope you're proud of yourself for making me wait. Real classy move. I'm sorry, I really have no excuse. Your attitude is the reason why you're such a bad wife. That's why my family thinks you're a joke. Having you in my family ruins the good atmosphere, especially at dinners. You are ugly and have a poor attitude. Well, it certainly has never been my intention to ruin the atmosphere. We have another family dinner at my restaurant next weekend. Will you be there? Yes, of course. But you are not even family. I don't understand why you think you should come to my family dinners at my restaurant. It's not like I'm going to serve you any of my delicious food. It would be a waste. Well, I'm married to your son, so I thought I was considered family. Isn't that how things work? What did I do to make you hate me so much? I have always wanted to get along with you and your family. So why are you saying that? I'm surprised you even have the guts to question me. You're such a rude girl. You will never be considered family. In fact, I think of you more as an imposter. Don't get carried away. Your marriage to my son means nothing. I wasn't trying to be rude or anything. I'm just wondering why I'm being treated like this. What is so wrong with welcoming me into your family? Mm. There's no real reason. I'm just disgusted with you. There is no way in hell I'll welcome you into my family. I love my family. I could never picture your face in my family's future. The present makes me sick. You're an intruder and are trying to steal my son. But that won't work on him. I just don't like you. Deal with it. Yeah. I'm starting to realize that about Frank. Anyway, 
How can you say such heartless things to someone? Like, how could anyone say things like that for no reason? Even if you can't stand me. Was it really necessary to call me those names? I mean, they were really offensive. You really need to start doing something about your attitude. You're much too uppity for your own good. When you come to the family dinner next weekend, that attitude better be gone. You'll be in trouble if you choose to keep speaking this way to me. I understand. I'll do my best to change my attitude and be on my best behavior. Hey, didn't I already tell you to quit with that pathetic attitude of yours? My mom couldn't help but show me the messages you sent a few days ago. And let me tell you, you were being hella disrespectful. But hey, don't worry. We'll save the real showdown for when we meet face to face. So, where the hell are you, huh? You're already late for the family dinner, and you better believe I won't tolerate any more of your nonsense. So drop the attitude, get off your lazy butt, and hold yourself over here right this damn instant, girl. Disrespectful? I'm your wife and this is how you keep talking to me? What kind of husband does this? What kind of person does this? What do you mean? Oh, look at you and your cute little family with that fancy restaurant of yours. Funny thing is, when I actually show up, I'm not even allowed to enjoy the food your precious mom cooks for her oh-so-special family. Nope. Apparently, I'm not considered a part of that exclusive club, so I get treated like garbage instead. Why the hell should I even bother going, huh? All I do is sit there, swallowing down a steady stream of insults like it's some sick, twisted game. Why should I have to endure that kind of crap? What's wrong with that? It's just my family's way of joking around. Stop talking as we were the bad guys. Their way of joking around? Are you serious? You are being ridiculous right now. If you can't take a joke, then you're a bad person. It's not our fault your skin is so thin. I've been dealing with all those jokes up until now. You really think my skin is thin just because I don't find your family's racist jokes amusing? Well, let me tell you something, genius. It would be downright messed up if I actually laughed at that kind of abusive garbage. We have a word for people like you and your family, you know. It's called being insensitive, ignorant, and downright despicable. One of the good ones. That used to be you until you got this attitude. I can't take this anymore. Seriously? I've reached my limit. The way your family talks, I swear they'd end up getting arrested in Europe. Like for real. The stuff they say, it's just not acceptable in the real world. Why are you being such a drama queen? The only weird thing around here is you. Do you really plan on continuing your hate campaign against my mom and my family? Are you that narrow-minded? So now I'm narrow-minded for not wanting to take any more of your family's abuse? I've seriously hit my limit dealing with this. Oh wow, are you seriously getting all worked up over some stupid jokes and not getting your food at my mom's restaurant? If that's what it takes to shut you up, fine, go ahead and eat. Anything to make you stop whining. I'm so damn sick of you blowing this whole thing out of proportion. Just get your sorry ass over here before my family gets even more pissed off at you. And don't you dare make things awkward when you arrive. Oh, and by the way. You better apologize to everyone for daring to have feelings. Yeah, you owe them an apology, apparently. Why do I need to apologize? Because it is your fault for being late and causing issues with my mom with your attitude. I shouldn't even have to explain this. If you don't apologize, then I'll never forgive you and file for a divorce. Then let's get one. Let's get what? A divorce. I can't take this anymore. I will not put up with you and your family anymore. Just go to hell. Excuse me? What the hell do you think you're saying? Divorce me? Oh, sweetheart, let me set you straight. You don't have the authority to make any decisions in this relationship. That power solely rests with me, and only me. So don't you dare think you can pull that card. You're stuck with me, whether you like it or not. Of course you would say something like that. What? One, I am not your property. Two, I'm the one who works and makes the money in our relationship. So, I can see why you wouldn't really want a divorce. 
I bet you were expecting me to agree with you and just put up with apologizing. Plus, a divorce is bad for your ego, but I don't know what makes you think I would want to have to stick around with you. You loser. Are you joking right now? I'm not joking at all. I can't stand your family anymore. I also can't stand the way you and your mother gang up on me. You take your mom's side every time, even when she's clearly wrong and is saying messed up things about me. That's just how things are. It's my mother. And you're my husband. Does that even matter to you? I'm just fed up with you. I want a divorce. Why do you keep saying you want a divorce? You are only saying it out of anger. You need to come down and think about what you are doing right now. No, this is out of anger. I'm absolutely serious about this. Plus, you're the one who mentioned getting a divorce first. Why did you threaten me with a divorce if you didn't mean it? I didn't think you would agree with me. It was supposed to just calm you down. You were threatening me because you thought I would be afraid to lose you. Think again. I can't picture my future without you. That's your problem, not mine. While we were texting, I already packed all your stuff. I want you out of my house. Wait, you're kicking me out of our home? This is all happening too quickly. Just come down. I already told you that I'm serious about all of this. There is no reason for us to keep living together. I've already signed our divorce papers too. I'm going to submit them once this conversation is over. To be honest, I've had these papers sitting around the past week. I've been contemplating a divorce for a while now. What? You've had these papers the whole time? I don't care what you do. I won't agree to the divorce. Then I'll see you in court. All you're going to do is drag this out and cost yourself even more money paying my legal fees. If that's what you want, so be it. This is your wish in the first place. You've always threatened me with a divorce if we got into an argument. I used to get sad, but now I really couldn't care less. No, that's not true. I've never meant it. Well, I do mean it. I can't stand you and your family. I seriously don't even know why I married you anymore. Look, this conversation doesn't matter anymore. Let's put this argument behind us and pretend it never happened. Just come home to the restaurant now. If you apologize, then all is forgiven. What? You're still going on about forcing me to apologize? For what reason? Why the hell should I apologize to your trashy family? You're the one who should be apologizing. You are being so dramatic. Just calm down. Are you actually getting this worked up over something so trivial? Get a grip, princess. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, of course I am. I have every right to be. Stop screwing around and acting like I'm getting mad over nothing. I'm always the one who had to be quiet, obedient, and get along with whatever torture you and your family put me through. Wait a second. Are you really that mad? What are you going on about? Ease up a bit. Don't get your panties in a twist. Just shut up. You are supposed to be my husband, best friend and companion. You're supposed to defend me when I'm being put down, but you never cared about me at all. You always take your mother's side. You grew up to be such a pathetic little mama's boy. My mom was only joking around with you. This has to do with your attitude problems, not my mom. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. Nothing was ever my fault and I have nothing to feel bad about. Your family is trash anyway. I'm getting this divorce whether you like it or not. Ever since we got married, you've become a completely different person. It doesn't even matter anymore. I'm done. What do you mean it doesn't matter anymore? We are married and love each other. Is it really that easy for you to get a divorce? Which is it? Do you love me or want a divorce? You would always threaten me with a divorce. To be honest, in the three years we were married, your behavior towards me and your family slowly made me fall out of love with you. I never really wanted one. It was my mom who kept pushing me to get one. When I would get angry, it would just slip out sometimes. <laughs> Here we go. Talking about your stupid mother again. You are such a mama's boy. But don't worry, I'm sure you and your mom will be super happy together. After all, you both enjoy talking behind my back and laughing at me. No, that's not the problem here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. By the way, I'm not sending your mom money anymore. What? I was helping her with her financial situation since you guys are struggling with the restaurant. It's a small restaurant and you guys don't get many customers these days. Well, I'm done helping such an ungrateful and disgusting family. Wait. Why would you stop helping her? She's going to be so mad at you. You're her son. Why don't you start helping her? 
You should have been the one helping her this whole time, not me. You claim to have all this love and respect for your mother, but you have never helped her in any way. She still thinks you are the one paying her, right? But it's actually my money. You are jobless. Ah, just stop. Don't you dare stop giving her the money. Or what? Are you going to divorce me? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. If they find out you were paying for them this whole time and the money wasn't mine, I'll be in trouble. That's just too bad for you. I'm the one who was giving your money all the money she needed every month to keep her restaurant up and running. I wonder what she will think of you when she finds out you don't work or have any money to help her. But whatever. This no longer concerns me. Your mom is going to regret treating me the way she did. No longer concerns you? You're really getting the divorce? And you really won't help my mom anymore? Yes. You're such an idiot. How long does it take you to understand what's happening? You do realize that my family will come after you for doing this. They know how bad of an attitude you have. My mom will especially come for you. I'm warning you. You better come to your senses and fix your attitude. Wow, I'm so scared. What the hell are you going to do about this? Do you think that your family could even touch or harm me? You know we can... Try it. You realize where we live, right? Just try something and see how far you get. You and your hillbilly family can't do a single thing. I'm the one with the money and the power, remember? If they ever try to do something to me, I'll see them in court. I couldn't care less about you and your family. I feel sorry for any other man or woman who marries into your sick family. Anyway, good luck in life. You'll need it. Enjoy living with your mommy forever, mama's boy. After the argument, Frank panicked and completely changed his behavior. He tried to stop the divorce and get me back, but he failed miserably. There was no way I was going to fall for his manipulation again. I knew if I stopped the divorce and went back to him, things would go back to the way they were. I could cut contact with Frank and his entire family. Even though his family is completely toothless, I still decided it would be best to sell my house and move somewhere far away from them. Eventually, Frank had to help his mom financially in order to keep their struggling family restaurant. Frank confessed to his mother that it had been my money, not his, that kept her afloat and that he was unemployed. This sent Frank's mom into a panic, but there was nothing she could do. I am so thankful to have escaped such a toxic marriage and family. Frank was forced to get a job and work long hours to help his mom. I'm sure that now he regrets the way he treated me, but it's way too late now. On the other hand, I am enjoying my new single life. The sense of freedom is completely invigorating and I can finally enjoy my life again for the first time in years.